So today we have another home theater projector to look at, this time by Vankio, and this is the Leisure 430 model, which does support 1080p, keystone correction, and dual speakers. And I'll leave a link in the description below with current pricing and more information. Okay, let's go ahead and open it up and see what we've got. Okay, so it comes in a really nice looking little carrying case. I'm definitely liking the look of that. So on the inside, you've got customer support information, a quick start guide, and a user manual. I assume this is the adjustable foot that goes in the front. HDMI cable, power cable. It also comes with an AV cable and a really small remote control. And I definitely like how they got these little Velcro straps on the inside to keep the projector from moving around. Okay, so I really like the look of this. It's really nice and compact, and it's a really simple design. Here on the front, they do give you a plastic cover for the lens. Then you've got your remote sensor, and just the Vankio logo. And then here on the top, you have some controls. You've got your power button, menu, source, back button. And then this silver button works as a up and down or left and right. And then in the middle is of course the OK button or confirm. And then you get your focus for the lens and the keystone adjustment. And they also put a little warning here to say, don't look into the lens. Then here on the side, you have an air inlet and your power input. And then moving to the back, you've got a sensor for the remote control and another air inlet. And then on the opposite side, you've got an air inlet, audio out, AV in, SD card slot, USB port, HDMI, and VGA. And then on the bottom, you can screw in your adjustable foot. And then here towards the bottom is where your speakers are located. And then you get four little rubber feet to keep it from moving and to give you a little bit of space between whatever you're sitting this on and your air vent. Okay, so I think that covers most of the basics. I'm gonna go ahead and hook this up to several different devices, test it out and see how it works. All right, so now I've got this hooked up. Here's what the menu looks like. You can see there's several languages to choose from. I'm just gonna go with English. Here under picture, you've got picture mode. Color temperature. Aspect ratio. Noise reduction. And you can choose between rear on desk, front on ceiling, rear on ceiling. And then you can also reduce the display size down to 75%. Then under sound mode, you've got standard, music, movie, sports, or you can customize it however you like. Then you can also adjust the balance and turn auto volume on or off. Now you can choose which language you wanna use. You can restore to factory default. You've got a blending setting, OSD duration, and software update through USB. Keep in mind that in order to get a good quality picture, you're gonna need your room to be pretty much pitch black. And keep in mind, this is played on my wall in the basement, so there is no screen on there. The bad thing is the room is so dark that my camera really struggles capturing what the screen really looks like. So just keep in mind, this looks a lot better in person than what I'm showing you in this video. I feel like this has slightly better picture quality than the Cronova XPE 498 that I did a video on earlier, even though both are 1080p projectors. This one also is a lot easier to adjust the focus of the lens, and even the remote control seems to have a little bit better distance that it can be used from. So after testing out this portable projector, I have to say that I came away pretty impressed. I tested this on just about every device I could think of, including my Fire TV stick, 
where I tested Netflix, YouTube, and then I also tested my Xbox One S, my PlayStation Classic, my Super Nintendo Classic, and of course I had to test it on my Wii U that I just got from GameStop recently. And yeah, all these games look pretty awesome, playing them on 140 inch screen. And while I could play Rocket League and PUBG without too much difficulty, you're not gonna get as much detail and the fonts may be a little bit more jagged on the edges, especially if you're really close to the screen when compared to a TV. But I feel like once you have it all set up and you start playing games and watching movies, you don't even notice. And the great thing is, there's pretty much no lag when playing games. The speakers seem plenty loud enough for a mid-size room. So hopefully this video gives you a little bit more info on the Vankyo Laser 430 projector. And if a 75 inch TV isn't big enough for you or you wanna have a huge screen outdoors and you're in the market for an entry level 1080p projector, yeah, I would definitely recommend the Vankyo Leisure 430. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.